Visiting Paniman on your way is never a boring trip because you are passing through a place with exhilarating landscape. This one, you are winding down the valley from the mountain top, and from afar you see the blue color between the two hills. That's part of Paniman Beach area, and I'm going to that area to see what do they have here and whatever I find. Of course, I'm going to share it with you. This is my first time to visit Paniman, although this is not my first time here in Karamoan. That's why I'm so excited to find what do they have here. I'm late in a split of a minute because I wasn't able to catch the survivor contestants here on the shore. You see those two speedboats speeding away. The guys on them are the contestants of the survivors. So I arrive late, I'm late, and I'm late. <laughs> Now, let me bring you to the main purpose of my visit here in Barangay Paniman. The purpose, of course, is to show you the beautiful place that they have here. So, I'm standing on the shoreline of Barangay Paniman and this is how it looks like. Barangay Paniman is a community, a simple community but peaceful with accommodating and welcoming residents. And the main source of livelihood by the people here are fishing and agriculture also tourism because they have accommodation facilities here and this is one of the destinations here in Karamoan and as I said in my previous videos that this is one of the major takeoff points here in Karamoan if you are doing an island hopping I hear that the survivor contestant are staying here and I think that's true because of these things in front of me. I'm familiar with these things, although these are not the same things as I was seeing before, especially those banners leaning on the wall. Because uh, I'm watching Survivor also, but I'm watching the Survivor US edition. This one looks like a lagoon, but this is not a lagoon because over there, just beside the rock wall, there is a river channel. This is the river end of Suhutan River, now connecting to the sea. I was actually hoping to climb to this wooden bridge. But I was not allowed because this area is still part of uh, the place where the survivor shooting is going on. So for the moment, no visitors are allowed to climb to this wooden bridge. Now, let me bring you on land. I'm showing you the landscape. Of course, we are on land, so I'm giving you landscape. <laughs> you know, in painting, the genre, if you paint like this, it is called landscape. And if you paint a sea, of course, seascape. And if you are painting a man running away from somebody or from something, how do you call the genre? Well, I think that's escape. <laughs> well, anyway, this is how beautiful the place here in Barangay Paniman. And I'm talking about this farm area. Uh, this is a rice field, but I think this is just a rain-fed farm. 
So the uh, farmers are planting rice during rainy seasons only. Now, we are back on the shore and again, this is Barangay Panikman, Karamuan, Camarines Sur, Philippines. By the way, the beautiful sites that I have presented and I am presenting now are just parts of the beautiful sites that this barangay has. Because, uh, to be honest with you, this visit, I am not able to cover all the beautiful sites that they have here uh, because of a limited time. From here, I need to proceed to another place. And then after that, I need to go back to my city. But next year, I promise that I'm coming back here to cover the other places that I am not able to cover today for this visit. Again, this is Barangay Panikman, Karamuan, Camarines Sur, Philippines. Mm -hmm. 